I grew up in, in Bombay, India. I, uh, my parents were Christian, part of a small Christian minority in India. So I learned my Christianity when I was five or six. But when I look back on it, I say to myself, was that Christianity? Well, I call it crayon Christianity, <laughs> right? It's a Christianity simplified to my very young mind. But see, many of us don't outgrow that Christianity. That's the Christianity I brought to America when I came as an exchange student at the age of 17. Uh, that's the Christianity a year later I took to the Dartmouth College campus. Now, interestingly, Dartmouth, like some of these Ivy League colleges, was founded as a Christian institution. Dartmouth specifically was founded to educate and Christianize the Indians. Sometimes I wonder how I got there. I think I misread the catalog, <laughs> the part about the Indians. Uh, but, but what happens when you set foot on a secular campus is your beliefs come under attack, under scrutiny. Uh, hey, Dinesh, uh, what? You believe someone was born of a virgin, uh, walked on the ocean, uh, brought dead people back to life, are you out of your mind? Uh, we're living in the 20th century, now the 21st century. Don't you believe the world has fixed laws? You think these laws can be suspended at somebody's whim or discretion? The point I want to make is that at that young age, I felt um, I wasn't, didn't have the tools to defend my beliefs. I found myself backing off, pulling away from Christianity, not because I didn't want to believe, but you could say my mind was getting in the way. And this is the strategy of the new atheists, to drive a wedge between the mind on the one side and, you may say, the heart on the other. I think a second issue, um, a second reason that as Christians we sometimes have difficulty with the new atheists is because we are accustomed when we are faced with a problem, a question, to turn to the Bible. If somebody says, hey, Christian, why do you believe this? We say, well, the book of Matthew says this, or the book of Leviticus says that. And, and that's a pretty good approach if you are speaking to a fellow Christian. But if you're speaking to a secular guy, or to an atheist, if I said this in a debate with Christopher Hitchens, he'd say, well, I don't care what the book of Matthew says. I reject the authority of the Bible to decide the matter. And then as Christians, we are a little uh, tongue-tied because, well, that was our argument. So what I want to suggest this afternoon is that I think as Christians, we would do better, you might say, to be a little more bilingual. And by bilingual, what I mean is to speak one language in church but to learn a little bit of a different language when we step out into secular culture. Because we are often going to be dealing with people, and our children are going to be dealing with people, who don't share our assumptions. 